We're back. We are. Happy to be here, as always. Very happy to be here. How are you in your cozy little pink palace, oh, Queenie? Oh, I couldn't be better, Julie. I'm really good. And we've got a, a great word for tonight, too. A word that uh, I love to hear and love to use, too. Shall I, I agree. It you? You want, I want to hear the word. What is the word? Yeah, it's a good word. word. The word is expectant, and it can have many, many meanings, really. Uh, it's, it's like waiting for something, and, and for me, it's always waiting for something good. I yes. can't think of anything negative about that word. Uh, actually, the word expectant uh, <laughs> really hits home, because I was expectant many times <laughs> you can use that before you have your babies and you, yes so, it, like six times you were expectant yeah. but and i got i got one free one free one when i had the twins <laughs> but i was so happy being expectant i didn't care if i was the biggest living creature walking down the street and stopping traffic because the twins weighed almost 15 pounds and wow people really really thought that i was something from the circus maybe but out of that 15 pounds i got your two sisters and wow. also you the next year they said i had one baby in each arm they said we'll see you later <laughs> and i cut to myself they're crazy there i was you were the and there i was a year baby. later one year later. You didn't expect me. Yeah. I was the big turkey. Oh, you were wonderful. Wonderful yeah. turkey. So, <laughs> so let's unpack this word. We've got some people tuned in. Hi, everyone. Let us know you're here, Elaine and Tom. Oh, so, hi, um, Let us know. We'd love to hear what the word expectant means to you. Yeah. When I think of that word, I think of hopeful. Yes. That an ex it's, it's something good is coming. Something good is coming. Yeah. Right. And this is a season to be expectant oh, with yes. Jesus' birth. So I think of the word hopeful. Um, I think of just this waiting. We're waiting now, but something good oh. is coming. Yeah. Um, I think of anticipation. We're anticipating something. We're not quite there, but it's something to look forward to. Oh, and we I need something to look forward to right now. And Mary was looking forward to baby Jesus. I mean, that's yes. our true meaning for now. Uh, it, it had to be a happy time for her, uh, just as it is for us now waiting to celebrate it. And we've only got another week, honey. Right. But it is a happy, happy time of the year. And we are we can be expectant usually to see family be together mm -hmm. this year might be different and uh, we have to stay away from each other but i tell mm -hmm. you julie we're going to make up for it later when everybody gets their vaccine and we can celebrate mm -hmm. together and i'm expectant about that yes. i'm expecting a whole new life for us without this terrible virus we've had and we've come through it and i was expectant about doing about coming through it too mm -hmm. we're not going to let anything negative affect us now right. we have tom listening you know what he always he's got says. the vaccine he works for pfizer yes the vaccine is something to be hopeful and expectant uh, of oh yeah and yes. we're absolutely looking forward to that and now, I, love what, I, love, I love what you said, Mom, about Christmas and Mary and the oh, expectant yeah. of a child. But, you know, she was a child herself. She wasn't yeah. that excited at first. She, her first reaction is, why me? I'm not worthy yes. of this. Yeah. And so, you know, and she was afraid. And I think right now is a time of uncertainty and fear for a lot of people and also sadness. And I just yeah. want people to know that, I wanted tonight to talk about what we call, sometimes people refer to as blue Christmas, because oh, okay. it's a sad time, but you totally rejected that idea. 
<laughs> and he said, no, yeah. we got to be positive. So, yeah. so yeah. dancing Grammy here, um, <laughs> we all know who's in charge of this porch cast. I want you all to know that oh, we wouldn't no, be talking no. about the word expectant. We'd no. be talking about something sad because I think the realization is while we can be expectant for better days to come, some people right now are going through a really hard time. Oh, they are. And the holidays are making it harder. Yeah. Having had the virus themselves, maybe our niece went through the virus. Mm -hmm. And I knew right along, I turned it over to God. Mm -hmm. I said, be with Nate and please cure him soon. Mm -hmm. And Julie, uh, he came through for me as always. Mm. Nate is back to work, feeling mm -hmm. good, and that was our personal uh, family experience. Right. I'm so happy. I, I don't even like blue Christmas lights uh, because uh, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but they're just not as happy and bright as the red and yellow and green. Uh, I, it's a time to be happy, but mm -hmm. I think every time <laughs> is a time to be happy. Julie. You're, yeah, exactly. You're always <laughs> happy. <laughs> well, why not? It's never we, not a time to be happy. Yes, Megan, uh, our niece, had it too. We did. We yeah. did have some family members that had that yeah. had COVID. But I think, and you're absolutely right, Mom. But sometimes it's okay to be sad. And yeah. right now, for some people, it is. And the holidays. Yeah are often a reminder of the empty chair at the table, the person who is not there. And so I think what our message tonight is, is yes, it's okay to be sad, but we want you to be expectant and hopeful of better yes. days ahead yes. because better days are coming. What's your famous, or someday famous, you're going to yeah. be known for this quote. What's oh, your quote? I know. The best is yet to come. The best and is I yet to come. I truly believe that. Uh, I want to live that. And, and show everybody that even if you're older, and I am a little older than I was, uh, doesn't mean that the best is not coming because it's always been that way, Julie. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, uh, Ed, my husband Ed's granddaughter. My step-granddaughter just came down with the virus, too, and her mm -hmm. husband a uh, couple of the children, so we're praying for them. Yes. It has touched us, and I thought we were going to glide through this without anyone in the family, mm -hmm. you know, being uh, sick with that. It Yeah, it keeps hitting closer to home with family and friends. Our friend yeah, Marilyn has been recovering. Is. I love what Elaine said, joyfully waiting. Joyful. Because... Waiting. Yeah, we yeah. had a sermon last week on we're we're in a waiting. We're in the waiting room. We're waiting. We are. You know, yeah. sometimes life is about waiting for something, uh -huh. the next thing to happen, and yeah. we need to live. We need to live joyfully during uh -huh. those times and to live uh -huh. expectantly. I just love that. Yeah. Live knowing that something better is coming, and you know, our devotion this morning was perfect. Yeah, but because it, it talked about the hope of heaven, so. You know, as a right. Christian, no matter what is going on here, we always, no matter what, have the hope of heaven. We do, and we, Julie. And we can joyfully expect that and know that someday that that's, that's where we're going to be. And so no matter what, um, but I just we love that joyfully when, waiting. When we have that hope for heaven, uh, mm -hmm. the devotion spelled it all out for us. We don't have to worry because uh, Jesus has our back. And mm -hmm. someday all our pain and suffering and loss, uh, it's all going to be in the past. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And right now we're expectant. And we're, we're going to see that someday, honey. Mm -hmm. I know we will. Mm -hmm. And I yes. love the way all your friends and, and Tom and, and Elaine and our our Bible study people tune in and and just having fellow believers to go along with what we're saying mm -hmm. makes a big difference too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And Natasha is tuned in, Mom. And um, Natasha, we're praying for you and your yeah. family. Yeah. We're so sorry COVID has yeah. hit you. Yeah. It's just a really hard time. But we're going to be praying fervently that it passes yeah. through with little symptoms wow. and that you guys are all okay. So She's an amazingly strong person and does a, mm -hmm. a, a job with those children of hers, Julie. She's going to make it with flying colors. I know mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. And her husband too. Hey, but I just want you to know, Mama, that Tom was uh, thinking the same thing I was because Elvis yeah. had a blue Christmas. I know, I know. And you happen to have a blue robot, by the way. Well, it's <laughs> so I there's do, a little bit of a blue theme. I'm just trying there. to change my Call outfit a little bit here, but I don't care for the song "Blue Christmas." It's just oh. too too sad for me. Too sad, as I said, I know. Julie. I know. And it's a pretty song, don't get me wrong. But I just like... That just rhymed, Mom. Huh? What? That just what rhymed. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty song, don't get me wrong. No. Well, yeah. I like the snowmen as songs and, and Santa Claus. I still believe in Santa Claus, Julie. I mean... You gotta uh, believe. If you stop yeah. believing, you stop receiving. You you got to believe. You got to believe. And I so do. we are we are going to keep believing. We're yeah. going to keep believing that better days are coming. We're going right. to live expectantly knowing that the Lord is going to redeem all of this and oh, yeah. work through it and bring some positive yeah. outcomes. We are very expectant of the vaccine coming. Yeah. So we know healing is at our doorstep and protection. Um, you know, and we don't want to free. forget the wonderful people we've lost, our family, friends. Uh, we've lost them, but God has them. And that's that's the way I can accept it because yeah. we've all lost dear, dear yes. relatives, friends, and we don't want to forget them especially now at the holidays, mm -hmm. but we're just going to know that they're in a better place and we'll join them someday. That's right. Absolutely. To go, by the way, Julie. You, you mean, can't, Mom. you got a lot to you know, do. There's okay. a lot more dances. Yeah. There may be some new costumes. That's we're awesome. not going anywhere. you got to no. finish the book, Mom. We're no, on chapter, what chapter are we on, Eleven. Oh no, we're actually Wait, we're on talking 10. about we're more 10. than that. <laughs> no, you can't I'm, go anywhere. You're not going I'm anywhere. I'm thinking about the next one already, Julie. Oh uh, yeah, one at a time. But we're yeah. gonna we're gonna live. I love this expression: live expectantly. Yes. That yes. despite what's going on right now, we're gonna hold on to that hope. Yes. We're going to hold on to that joy, and we're going to just keep going. We're going to keep yeah. plodding along, and sometimes that's what we do. We just put one foot in front of the other yeah. and keep going with an assurance that we know that God, that, that better days are coming because God is walking with us and plodding with us through this. You're right, Julie. And so for everyone who's tuned in, for everyone who will see us tomorrow, maybe, when they watch this, we just wish you the very happiest of your coming days, the holidays, which will be different this year, but they'll still be our holidays that we celebrate, uh, the birth of Jesus, and all the wonderful, wonderful things we have, mm -hmm. and we want to leave you with that for tonight mm. and, and next yes. week we'll be even closer yes so. absolutely i love what Let natasha her girl ella's quote was hope is an adventure amen oh, and it's yeah. and it's, every day is an adventure every day every yeah. day and we're just so grateful when we wake up and i just say thank you lord every day is an yeah. adventure and i love elaine the word joyful we just have to keep yes the joy, the joyful anticipation that better days are ahead. And next week, we're going to be talking about Christmas. I can't believe Christmas is next week. I can't either, Joe. And there may be some tap dancing. <laughs> there may be a dancing Santa coming. Oh, we'll so see about that. We'll see. You better tune yeah. in to see. And look at we've got my friend Carol. Oh. Um, Carol Brown. Let's see what yeah. Carol has to say. 
Oh. Girls, God's peace has been with me all of 2020. I just say thank you, God, for watching over us. My heart yes. goes out to those who are having a difficult time right now. Absolutely. And yes. our prayers, too. We recognize, despite, you know, we, we want to be, we want to, you know, be joyful. And we want to have this expectant joy and hope, but we also need to realize there are a lot of people suffering and we need to be praying for them every day. And we are. So we are. just know that we're walking with you through this yeah. and we're going to be here every Tuesday. We're going to be back next Tuesday right. and there may be some tap dancing. I'm just saying, we'll how can there not? I've got right. some great clips of dancing right. Grammy Santa suit. So well, stay tuned. Now. We wish you the best. We wish you good health. And we will be seeing you. And we'll never give up. Things, the best is yet to come. Remember. The best is yet to come. Okay. There we go. I think we're going to end on that. All right. Every every day is a holiday. Every meal is a banquet. Amen. Right. Brother right. Brother All right. So. Thank you for tuning in, and we Thank will be you. back next Tuesday, Tap Dance right. on Tuesday. And Thank until you. then, we're praying for you, we're thinking of you, and we are ex waiting expectantly Yes, for you. And we love you. Bye-bye. I love you. We love you, too.